Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most powerful signal day tools and pretty much the uh, main thrust of my whole uh, trading system. The most important signal day that you can look for uh, and understanding that Monday to Friday is a template. Regardless of what you see on the charts looking through your instruments, I'm always looking for the instrument that has the template that I'm looking for based on those signal days. If I don't see it, I don't sit there and try to read the charts and figure out where something's going to go. I'm looking for signal days and rinse and repeat templates that offer the parabolic opportunity if indeed that sets up. So just coming back to the playlist, everything you need is in this playlist. Again, I've gone back through uh, to try and make specific detail, uh, you know, making the the what seems to be complex, which is simple, day one, day two, day three, and breaking it down to the minutia for traders to understand the timings, levels, the behavior of price. I'm trading the New York session, three session setups on a day three when that market sets up properly. So if you're trading London or you're trading Asia, it doesn't matter, the same rules apply. If you're hunting out the best setup, coming back to understanding signal days, which is what we're about to talk about today. So just reinforcing that everything you need is in this playlist, whatever that's templates, timings, levels, behavior of price, understanding all of those things to help you master your trading setups. Now today I'm gonna to be talking about what I consider to be my primary thrust in terms of identifying the best candidate or a best trade setup. Now the great thing about hindsight is that everything's about what's already happened. And that whether that be a first green day, a first red day, three days of breakout traders in the markets, as we talked about yesterday, three higher, three lower closes, timings, levels, behavior of price. Because one of these can potentially evolve into the next or the setups themselves, depending on how price behaves on the day which is why I always come back to saying, how is the chart engineered on the day? So the signal day itself is only there to alert you for the next day for the session that you're trading. So for example, we can have a first green day, but it pumps up. It pumps up and goes to the high of the week or to the high of the opening range or whatever that may be for a, a sell setup for a session trade or whatever that may be. Now, I wanna emphasize that Primarily, I'm looking specifically for certain types of setups. Depending on the instrument that you're trading, whether that's an index, gold, currency, every template Monday to Friday will offer an opportunity depending on the basket of instruments that you have there. So I encourage traders to have you know, six or seven major currencies, maybe a couple of cross rates, or three or four cross rates. I have approximately 10 to 12 currency pairs. So I have uh, Australian crosses, uh, yen crosses, um, you know, Canadian dollar crosses, and euro pound. And so I'm only looking for one or two really high probability slash possibility opportunities out of the currencies during the week. And then there's gold, oil, and the indexes to offer just even one, like today's gold trade. Uh, those are the types of parabolic opportunities that are rinse and repeat and scalable, highly scalable in size because they're driven by other time frame traders. So what I mean by that is that we got daily, weekly, four hour, one hour behind these moves. So we're, when we're entering in on the smaller time frame, these have the potential to go on range expansion opportunities, which is where a small account can become a very, very, very large account quickly. Now I'm going to go through gold, um, but one of the uh, two pieces of homework I'm going to encourage you to do is to walk through all of your charts on any instrument and just understand that Monday to Friday is a template. Whether or not the template that you see on that instrument that you're scrolling through offers you a setup in that week is completely irrelevant. Understand that Monday to Friday is a template. And then when you have a basket, if you can go back through, so for example, if I have uh, multiple instruments and I can just go through and tick off which instruments are offering me signals, that also allows me to look at um, major US dollar pairs and then their cross rates to see if what their setup is when we have a signal day on one of the major pairs. And also when I get a 9010 inside day opportunity, whether that be on gold or oil or something like that, how does it set up on the day? 
this is an easy way. I just put tick off the box. I can scroll through and keep that on my watch list in terms of watching how that plays out because typically these will be three-day setups. Now, one of my most favorite uh, signal days, especially on gold, is the inside day. Uh, and that is comes with a set of criteria that I go over in the playbook. There are two types of opportunities we can see typically a trend trade or a reversal trade opportunity, depending on the day of the week, the template that we're in, and how price behaves on the day. So we want to see a breakout day. Inside day is the signal day itself. So we can scroll through gold. There's going to be other types of opportunities, three higher closes, day one, day two, day three. Uh, and there's obviously going to be days where major red news on the calendar is going to affect typically how some of these trades will play out, whether or not they're reversal trades or they are trend trades. But the inside day is a very, very, very powerful trigger day watching how price behaves. Understand that we can get false breaks and reversals that will build over three days into the day one, day two, day three, free cash Friday. Major red news can be a driver for a first bounce opportunity. If we get it at the beginning of the week, have we had a breakout day? How does price behave on the day? And then day one, day two, day three for parabolic opportunities. Uh, but gold is extremely reliable with reproducing the inside day behaviors if you understand the Monday to Friday templates. So if you're marking off all kinds of little things inside, you'll notice that it requires no... Uh, price chart reading for me to recognize if there's an inside day. Then the criteria working backwards is very simple. Inside day, pump day, we're at the high of the week, day one, day two, opening range, initial balance, highest closing price for the week, timings, levels, behavior of price, three sessions set up for a parabolic reversal opportunity on day two, Tuesday at the high of the week. Looking at the three-day setup, coming into the end of our week, we have a peak formation low, an inside day, closing price, higher highs on the inside. On news, a first bounce opportunity for a range expansion, again, range expansion opportunity on Free Cash Friday. Just simple stuff like that. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, we can go even further. I'm going to compile some more uh work together for traders that will basically make this completely foolproof. Uh, but I'm going to go into detail in every aspect of that. But I encourage you right now to go back through your templates to understand every week, pretty much. Now this brings us to today. We'll talk about this trade setup. But you'll notice we've had the same trade three weeks in a row. We had Inside day, peak formation low, inside day, the false break, and then the parabolic collapse on free cash Friday. Peak formation high, peak formation low, consolidation up high, at closing price into the third session. And go. you can go look at your universal EMA from the playbook on the five-minute chart, whether there's major red news or not. The template is there because on major red news, there's four types of news candles, whether it's a first bar entry, or whether it's a scalable setup after five minutes, we go back to our normal trade opportunities. We had the same behavior down low, peak formation high, peak formation low false break of the inside day consolidation with a higher high on the inside before the Fed. Again, just two things to consider, uh, as some traders have said, well, and you know that I don't trade the Fed, but if you were trading the Fed, and there's four types of news candle opportunities or even a five minute opportunity and we're targeting a range expansion you want to be aware to not try and counter trend this market when it's doing a range expansion so we have inside day parabolic reversal inside day parabolic continuation from the large move down we have higher highs we have a Breakout day, so coming back to understanding the inside day and the breakout day prior to the inside day. As soon as we have the signal day, the inside day, do we have a breakout? Now, the thesis is, is are they going back after the money or are they continuing in the direction of the trend? We have a higher high. Notice on 
the previous uh, two weeks ago, we have the lower low, the snow plow for the pump and dump template. And this week's trade, we have the higher high for the dump and pump template. Okay. Now, if you're struggling and you think it's all in hindsight, we can go down to our universal entry criteria on our five minute time frame. This is December 8th. We had our non farm payrolls breakout pullback continuation for the range expansion in line with our EMA. So, payrolls is the breakout candle. We talked about this uh, in a previous video. Breakout pullback, first bounce on the five minute chart for the range expansion continuation on day three. Remembering we have the inside bar triggered already at the high of Thursday. We have the FOMC and then the breakout. So first bar opportunity. If traders were going to trade this, the most important thing to understand is to not counter trend the reversal after the false break of the inside day. We have a thesis in place for a parabolic range expansion from the false break of the inside day. Brings us to today's trade setup parabolic opportunity, the dump and pump template. Now, I'm going to repeat this because, again, there's some watered down material regarding peak formations. Peak formations form your high and low of the day. They form the high and low of the day. Now, there, there's been some confusion. Traders are saying, yeah, but you said New York can form peak formations inside. Now, understand this. If New York forms a peak formation high or low of the day and the other extreme from the open or the close of that session forms a peak formation also especially for a u.s index that is the range for the u.s session and both of those peak formations can be relevant one of them will be the extreme of a day the other one will be the extreme of the session and we can see where closing price and price may trade back into an extreme from that session this is gold but just as an example for a dump and pump or pump and dump template. Now, another excellent question today regarding uh, traders was, where do you get in? Now, I'm going to repeat this. Everything is timed, and there's only two types of trade setups, dump and pump and pump and dump, engulfments and pin hammers. If you're on a five-minute chart, we can see Ws if it's at, at a reversal at the higher low of the day. Um, if it's a 15-minute chart, we can see pin hammer engulfments. We have a coil. We have a high of day coil for the dump and pump right into the New York Open engulfment pin hammer right at 930. Timings, levels, behavior of price. Now I want to clarify this as well. Index is open at 930. If this, if this setup presented at 845, I'm hitting the setup. It's gold. The index is open at 930. Oil can move from 9 a.m. on. Gold can move from... 830 but here we are we have again prices auctioning higher but we get a dump and pump engulfment pin hammer coil the sideways coil into the EMA some traders may have been going long earlier but as I repeat the equity markets open up at 930 so if you have an opportunity for an entry higher low of the day or into a coil at 930 New York chances are this market will explode because there's other emphasis driving that market there's going to be other larger players entering into the market at the near equity market opens but what we're talking about today is the inside day most one of the most important trigger signal days that you can look for it doesn't matter what instrument uh, it was on oil on friday for a parabolic move on monday but gold once a week once every two weeks will offer a fantastic parabolic opportunity Study this, go over it in the playbook, it rinse and repeats, understand whether or not you have a reversal opportunity. How is the price behaving on the day? What type of template? Is it a dump and pump? Pump and dump. Is it a well-engineered chart? Does it align with our universal entry criteria? Keep it simple. Remember, these setups repeat over and over and over again. Signal days, and then how does price behave on the day. Huge opportunity today for traders for a measured move range expansion, free cash Tuesday, several opportunities uh, in other sessions. Uh, Bank of Japan obviously moved the yen cross pairs. Uh, oil again a second day trade in line with that original parabolic breakout. 
study these templates and understand the importance of a signal day, especially in these markets that rinse and repeat these behaviors. Have a great day, traders, and may the markets go with you.